Checking into a hotel has evolved from a moment of disconnection to a full-on decontamination drill for some travelers. Scouring under beds, sanitizing sinks and disinfecting everything from the door handles to that notoriously germ-infested remote have become essential steps in the post-pandemic world where we're hyper-aware of germs. And don't forget to check behind the curtains for intruders before bolting the door. Yet just when you thought you'd navigated all the rituals, there's a new room riddle, and this time it's about checking out. An exasperated LinkedIn post by hotel manager Dinesh Tiwari showing a filthy room littered with trash, plastic bottles and cigarette butts exposed the horrors faced by housekeepers and opened up a whole new can of worms for guests. In the comments, hotel regulars proudly pointed out how they strip sheets, make beds and wipe down surfaces when checking out. These humble brags were met with adoring praise from cleaners, and mild befuddlement from everyone else. Unlike Airbnbs, hotels are surely the one place you can kick back, relax and check out without worrying about chores. Lizzie Post, the great-great-granddaughter of early 20th century etiquette Empress Emily Post, suggested that these sometimes over-the-top checkout cleaning rituals stem from a desire to acknowledge and respect the efforts of hotel housekeeping staff. It's genuinely sweet, being aware of your potential impact on other people, she said. Larry David might disagree. In the premiere of this season of, Curb Your Enthusiasm, the anti-hero feels judged by a housekeeper after he left what he thought was a reasonable mess. Across the pond, the London-based protocol pundit and podcaster William Hansen offered a decidedly more British view, that in a country famously obsessed with social standing, some fear expecting housekeepers to clean up after you perpetuates the class divide. They don't want an upstairs-downstairs relationship, or they think they're really not the kind of person that has to be waited on hand and foot, he explained. So, what's really expected of us during our stay? It might be part of your morning routine at home, but making the bed in a hotel room isn't saving anyone any time. The first thing your housekeeper will do is strip off all those dirty linens and send them straight to the laundry. Calvin Canoho, a former rooms manager for the Ritz-Carlton in San Francisco, spoke of strict cleaning protocols covering everything from scuffs on the walls to the way the chairs are facing. Under those rules, if you're in a twin room and didn't use the other bed, the sheets are still going in the wash, and at luxury hotels, the same goes for the unused towels. The legend of Michelin inspectors dropping a fork on the floor to test restaurant service may have long since been debunked, but hotels still don't want to risk a black mark, literally.